For this video, I want to show you how to find the maximum or minimum of a quadratic function using a calculator. And the two functions I'll be looking at are at negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 13, and x squared minus 2x minus 6. So let's go ahead and grab our calculators, see how this works. I'll be using a TI-84, but you can also use this process with a TI-83. So the very first thing is to go to your y equals screen and go ahead and put these functions in. So negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 13. Enter. Looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my graph screen and it'll go ahead and draw a picture of this parabola. So I can see it's facing down. Looks like it has a maximum value. Let's have the calculator find where that maximum value is by going to our calc menu. So we'll go second, hit this little trace button, and I'll bring us to our calc menu. We want it to find the maximum value, so we'll select number four here. And now we'll have to choose some place on the left, some place on the right, and make a guess as to where we think this is. So let's see, looking at my little tick marks here, negative, let's see, one, two, three, the x value looks like it's somewhere around 3. So for my left bound, I want to choose a number smaller than 3. So let's say 1. Enter. For the right bound, I want to choose a number larger than 3. So let's do, let's say 5. And now we get to make a guess in between those two. So somewhere between uh, 5 and 3. Um, I don't know, let's uh, about 4. Now the calculator will think for a bit and actually return what the maximum value is. And it gives you an x and a y pair. So it's saying that the x is at 2.9999986 and the y is 5. Uh, we'll go ahead and say that the max is at... We'll go ahead and round that first one and say 3, 5. Alright, so that's how this works. Let's do this process again for the second one and see how we find a minimum. So let's go to our y equals, let's clear this old one out, go x squared minus 2x minus 6. Again, we'll check out our graph screen. There's our parabola, so it looks like it definitely has a minimum. Uh, maybe somewhere around a, a, a 1. So second calc to bring up that menu. Select number 3 to find the minimum. So I want something to the left of 1 and to the right of 1. Uh, let's see, a number to the left, let's try a negative 2. A number to the right, let's try 4. And somewhere in between those two, let's do uh, 2 and a half. why not? Alright, we'll let the calculator think for a bit. And it says the minimum is at 0.9999789 and y is equal to negative 7. So we'll do some rounding. For this one, we'll say the min is at 1, negative 7. Now, if you do some work uh, on these two functions and actually use the formula to find the max and min, you will find that uh, the x is exactly at 3 for this maximum, and the x is exactly at 1 for this minimum. And what the calculator is doing is it's going through a numerical method and it's getting a place that's really close to the max and min, uh, but sometimes it will be off by a few decimal places. So it's always good to round these, uh, that way you get a good idea as to what the actual max or min is.